Hey guys, back with a another video with uh, for Navigate on autopilot. I uh, took some of the comments that were posted yesterday and tried to make some adjustments to mainly the camera angle and also just um, taking a little bit of a step back just for people that maybe don't own a Tesla or are looking to buy a Tesla on how to initiate the process. So. Navigate on autopilot is going to take you to on ramp uh, to off ramp on the interstate or the freeway or the highway or whatever you call it in your part of the world uh, completely autonomously. Basic, you don't have to do anything. It makes all the lane changes, it navigates interchanges, um, it, it does everything and it will deliver you to uh, the off ramp of your destination. So to initiate the process, first of all, you want to go up here on the screen and there's a little navigate button. So you hit navigate. I have my home and my work uh, populated in there. I am going to work right now. So tap on work. And then it calculates um, your route. And then what you do is you see a little thing that says navigate on autopilot. Um, navigate on autopilot is part of the full self-driving um, package and it's being released in um, you know different I, you know packages and each package is going to have a little bit more capability than the last package so right now basically I'm going to demonstrate the full capability of where we're at with the full self-driving as of today which is uh, I don't know what is it the 23rd of August and so here we go, we tap on navigate on autopilot. So essentially what that does is it allows me to um, initiate the autopilot system and the way you do that is there's a cruise control lever just like any regular car and you pull that twice towards you once you get, you know, basically about right here on the off ramp, it should initiate. So I'm gonna pull that twice and there we go. And the way you can tell by looking at the cockpit that you're in Navigate on Autopilot is this single blue line right here. Hopefully you can see that. I tried to adjust the camera and the steering wheel to where it would show you um, the, full, the full screen there. So car is in complete control right now. I'm not doing anything and it's gonna deliver me all the way to uh, where I'm going. driving fairly quickly right here so it does take a little bit to get used to um, but so far so good the system has been completely flawless just for reference this is a 2019 model X Raven uh, with the full self-driving package so what that means is the Raven is the latest version it, they started manufacturing the Raven in uh, 2000, April of 2019. I took delivery August 5th, so I'm literally less than three weeks into ownership of this vehicle and uh, adapting very quickly. It is very intuitive um, and absolutely floored on the enjoyment that you get driving this car on a daily basis. So you can see here, it just navigated that interchange. We uh, went from Interstate 80 to um, now we are on the uh, interchange ramp that's gonna take us on to Business 80 or what we call here uh, the Capital City Freeway. We're in Sacramento, California. The exit, we uh, just for reference, just in case you care, I know there's some people in Sacramento uh, on the owners group that are watching these. So um, that was the Madison Avenue exit. And what we will do is we will be exiting. Um, so there it goes, it's initiating a lane change here. So you can see the blinker comes on, it's looking at the traffic, it's looking at the lane to the left and checking the speed of that vehicle and it makes the lane change. Now, as far as the navigate on autopilot goes, there are a few different settings. I'm not gonna go into that while I'm driving on how to do it, but basically you hit the uh, the car here. Actually, I wonder if it'll let me do it while we're driving, I'm sure it will. So you hit the little, the car here, you hit autopilot, and now you can 
can see auto steer, navigate on autopilot, summons, customize, navigate on autopilot. Um, if you go into customize, navigate on autopilot, then it brings you up to a screen here where you can e enable it to start at every trip. I don't have it set for that, so I have to initiate it by myself. Um, Speed-based lane changes. Now this is the one that gets a little interesting. I actually thought I had it on average. I have it on mild. So what mild means is it's gonna really double, triple check the surroundings before it makes any kind of move. I guess I'm guessing the average is gonna be a little bit quicker. It's gonna take a little bit more initiative uh, in making those lane changes. And then there's the Mad Max mode, which um, I haven't tried either, but I hear that is like literally um, just speeding up the computations and, and will make pretty fairly aggressive lane changes. And I will be doing um, average and Mad Max coming up in different videos just to show you how that works. Um, the other setting here is require lane change confirmation. So I have it set on no, and what that basically means is it's gonna, the cameras in the system are gonna be, they're obviously constantly monitoring everything, you know, speed of the lane on the left, speed of the lane on the right, trajectory of the cars merging, it's, it's computing all this stuff, which is somewhat amazing to me. Um, but then again, you know, Elon Musk is a lot smarter than I am, so. Anyway, back to that. You know, the setting, if you have yes, it's gonna tell you, hey, I wanna make this lane change, but then you actually have to hit the lane change to confirm that you're okay with the vehicle making that lane change. Um, I have it set on no, so it out of, it just goes ahead and takes the initiative, tells me that I'm gonna, it wants to make the lane change, and then it uh, puts the blinker on and makes the lane change when it is safe to do so. So we'll exit out of here and we'll go back into the um, navigate. On autopilot. So as I've said before in some of these videos, this is a somewhat interesting commute because you have a little bit of everything. You have some full speed, speed limit um, sections. It's reading that car cutting in front of me, just tapped on its brakes and perfect, let the car in. Um, The, um, there, there's a lot of merging to the left, merging to the right, different things that the car has to read. As I said before, there's a major interchange, and um, it's just there's a lot of variables in this commute that I think is a good test. So I'll probably be doing the same commute a lot just to just to gauge and reference because there's a lot of different scenarios. And then as we, as I was going through before on the different settings. Um, We'll try some, try some of those out and we'll sort of see, hey, what's it gonna do here? And, and how's it reacting to different scenarios? So the one thing about Navigate on Autopilot is it is totally autonomous, but obviously you have to pay attention. You, you wanna pay attention. It's very important that you pay attention. Um, so what it does to make sure that you're not napping or just completely you know, working on your laptop is it starts flashing you. See, and that's what it looks like there. So it says upcoming lane change. It's telling me the vehicle wants to make a lane change. It's reading that lane on the right, I'm guessing. And then as soon as it feels it's, it's appropriate, um, it will put the blinker on. Sometimes it will do that and then it decides not to make a lane change. Um, based on you know the speed of traffic um, increasing in the lane that it's in or the speed of traffic that it wants to uh, make that lane change into in that lane uh, slowing down and it will just sort of abort that lane change. So that one there, it, it was trying to make up its mind that it decided, okay, yeah, I'm gonna make this lane change. So this is you know, another area where it's made some interesting, you know, decisions is this big sweeping left that we're in right now. Um, there's been a couple times in, in the last couple weeks since I've taken ownership of the car that it's actually made a lane change right in the apex of that sweeping left-hand turn, which is, you know, something I wouldn't do, um, but it, it, it's done it completely safely and flawlessly every time.
but just something, uh, you know, being brought up as a, uh, a driver, I don't know if that was just something I was taught not to do in driver school, um, but that's just something I, I typically wouldn't do. So there you can see it made its lane change here. It is now navigating into this right lane. We'll be exiting on Arden Way in about, a, about 0.7 of, of a mile, and it's just setting up for that exit. Now, once we take that exit on Arden Way, it is going to then revert back into what they call autopilot. And you'll see that by this single blue line is gonna go into two blue lines on both sides of the car. And that's gonna tell you, okay, we're back into regular autopilot. Uh, it's not gonna read stop signs or stop lights. Um, Obviously, there's no stoplights or stop signs on the interstate, so it doesn't need to worry about those types of things yet. But once you start getting on city streets, see it's screaming at me there a little bit because I hadn't touched the steering wheel in a while. So there we go, blinker. It's gonna take this exit. And then you're gonna hear a little tone and it is gonna roll back into autopilot, which is right there, okay? So it's still gonna take the curve on its own, um, it, it's still going to do all these types of things. It's going to navigate the car in front and um, stop appropriately. But the only thing it will not do is it's not going to follow directions at this point, And it is not going to stop and recognize stop lights or stop signs. So there you have it. I am taking control of the vehicle. So hopefully that was a better camera angle. Uh, hopefully I explained it a little bit better. Uh, interested in your thoughts and feedback. Um, still new to this, so just trying to uh, figure it out as we go. I do have plans on purchasing a second camera and setting that up so we can have a little bit more focus on a couple different areas of the car. Um, but until then, just trying to figure out the uh, one camera GoPro edition here. So thanks again for watching. And if you're enjoying these, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe and give me your feedback. Thanks. Have a great day. See you next time.